everyone, I'm Nadeem and welcome to the second video of uh, making a math game tutorial. Okay, so today um, we are going to add um, five numbers for each bar and a timer. And they will change randomly whenever the timer reaches zero. Okay, so we first need to create um, an empty game object. We call it um, numbers. Or no, oh no, wait. We will need to add text components to each bar. Okay, so I have this cool font over here called um, NFL San Diego. Um, I like to use it. Um, you can download, you can download it in the internet um, for free. So I'm gonna use it for this series. Um, 20 it's very small uh, it's scaled up 'Cause you have to link it as um, as a child to each bar. Um, paste here add to the first one and then Okay, so just rename those um, number one and here number I'm just gonna copy this so number two and three four and five okay cool so um, let's add the uh, timer text So choose the font and then place it place it um, on the top left corner. This time and font size um, 25. Color white and vertical overflow. Um, choose overflow and the same with horizontal overflow okay so let's see how it looks like okay cool so now let's get to the code part um, we will need a new game object we'll call it manager and another script we'll call it a uh, game manager okay so First, we'll be using um, Unity Engine.ui, and we need public text array. Um, we put uh, numbers text equals uh, new text and five so we need five text components which we already added um, we we'll just have to assign them in the editor and we need um, public 
int and of course array 2 and the actual numbers that we are going to display so numbers equals new int and also 5 and we need the timer of course so public float timer or time doesn't matter so and another float called um, round length which which will change each time the, the player um, reaches a higher level so um, first of all go to the void update and make the make the time decrease so time dot delta time and at the beginning we will set the time equals um, round length also we will say um, if time less or equals zero time again equals round length so the player, uh, everything will reset and the player will get new um, new e equation okay so we will need now to get the five random numbers we will just create a method for it so void um, generate or just um, random um, okay um, we we'll use for loop int i equals zero i less than uh, numbers that length and then i plus plus so we'll say numbers i equals random dot range from 0 to 9 to 10 so it will choose a random number between 0 and 10 it will not choose 10 the highest number will be 9 ok and at the beginning we will have to um, display the numbers at the beginning and also um, after the timer reach zero or we'll just set the time to one and whenever the game starts after one second everything gets reset and the player will, won't even notice it so we will say we will um, okay of course here um, number text i equals um, numbers i okay great so um, that, that two string of course cannot um, string to dot text okay cool so you we'll call it here so random nums and then semicolon okay let's see how it goes um, set time to one round length to um, five seconds and we just have to assign the texts Um, just go ahead and lock the the manager game object and then add each text so select them using control and just drag them here set this to zero first and then drag each and drag all the components to the array we, we created okay cool so let's see how it looks like 
something went wrong oh, oh great okay we we had to set the round time let's just say um, two and then two seconds and it changed random numbers let's set this back to five and let's assign the time now so we need a text component for time so public text um, time text and we'll just go ahead and give it a value so time text dot text equals time dot to string of course if you wanted to just display it as int you can just go ahead and okay I'll just show you oh not not only this we need we needed to say time so time and then wait plus time dot the string and a space over here okay oh we didn't assign the time text is this okay just rename it time text and drag it in the field okay so let's try it okay so as you can see it displays a float which I, th which I think is more cooler than um, an integer so if you want to display an int you just just do it like this and then it will display it as int 5 4 3 and then whenever it reaches zero um, the numbers will change randomly one and then they change I'm just gonna set it back to wait um, to wait. okay cool so let's see that again everything's working perfectly okay great so thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more see you later